See how that pops? See how nice that is? And you couldn't do this if you had a white piece of paper that you were drawing on. Welcome back to Art 101. It's good to have you here. You ready to get some drawing done? Let's get started. All right, so we're going to be using some uh, illustrations of insects as our, uh, as our reference. And so uh, you can see there's lots of different insects here. And uh, I know some of you, some of us, a lot of people are pretty creeped out by insects. And they get, seem kind of scary or kind of creepy. But if you look closely at them, and the details that make up their design, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, they're really kind of interesting and they're fun to draw. So we're going to go ahead and uh, attempt to draw this, uh, some of these, and uh, we're going to start off really basic and, and, uh, and simple and then we're eventually going to uh, get a little more advanced. And so for, them, for those of you who are more comfortable and, and, and want to continue uh, to challenge yourself a little bit, um, there'll be some more techniques for that. So I'm going to go ahead and see what we can do on this ladybug here. Um, start off with a circle or ovalish kind of a circle. Let's move that over here, and then a, kind of a half circle for a head. Right, the antenna, real basic. All right. I bet some of you have drawn uh, ladybugs before. Now with this on the on the legs, I'm just going to draw a single line, and then later on, I can add some thickness. So right now, so you can go ahead and add the thickness later. It makes it a little bit easier. And for this project today we're going to be working with color pencils but if you don't have color pencils for a lot of this you could use a uh, crayon notice how these circles on these spots on the ladybug that you don't, sometimes you don't see the whole circle right they kind of go off so if I want to take a marker or a crayon to, that one's not very sharp. Let's see if I can get another one here. Let's try this one. I can outline these. Simple shapes can basically create anything. Okay, and if we wanted to add a little color, you can remember some of the techniques we've learned in past videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and erase my pencil lines so it doesn't dirty up my color. With this red, we can start with yellow. And then we can go over it with our, our red. And the yellow is just going to brighten it up a little bit. It's going to make it a little warmer. Notice how I'm staying, uh, I'm drawing in the same direction, I'm not, uh, I'm not going back and forth for the most part, unless I go around an edge like this, then I can kind of do that to kind of make sure I can cover up all the spots. Sometimes, um, with like the head, it might be uh, 
It might be black, but maybe I'll do a little blue first. And then I'll go over it with black. This gives it a little more dimension. Okay. Same with the spots. There you have a simple ladybug that you've done real quick, um, and you can do any of those, any of these insects like this. You'll notice that, uh, that these insects, what they have in common, look how many legs they all have. Uh, they all have. Well, look, this is a spider. Though. That's not an insect. That's an arachnid. They call that arachnid. That has eight uh, eight legs, but all these others are insects, and they have six legs. Okay, so something to keep in mind when you're drawing insects. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go on to something a little bit different. And what we're going to try now is we're going to use this brown um, chipboard. But you know what you could use is if you have any, if you have a breakfast cereal or any kind of uh, box that, that you probably have that you're going to throw away, if you um, take some scissors and you, you cut a rectangle out and you turn it on the inside of the box, like a, or like a breakfast cereal um, cereal box, you'll notice it's just this thing color. So you can use that to draw on. And the reason we want to draw on this today is this is going to show you that sometimes it's a, a little bit easier, a little nicer to be able to draw on a page that is has a color to it. If you have something with color to it, then you can actually add some highlights with white um, color pencil as well, which makes it a little bit easier. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to use our color pencils and we're going to go ahead and create our first, we're going to go ahead and create this beetle right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use, actually for this, I'm going to use a pen. Let's use a blue. I'm going to use a blue ballpoint pen. So these are just pens you could find probably you might have in a drawer at home. A lot of times they're uh, very inexpensive and so a lot of times you, uh, people or places give them away for free. So with this, I think this is, I think they might call this, I, I didn't look, but I think they might call this a Goliath beetle because it's really big. I could be wrong. You guys can correct me. Let me know. Send me an email if you know the name of this beetle. Um, I'm just going to draw basic shapes. A lot of times insects have segmented bodies, just bodies that are broken up into segments. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to draw those basic shapes first. For this, I'm just going to draw the basic shape of these horns. It's almost like horns, almost like antlers on this beetle. And then later, now I can go ahead and draw the, the little antler sections of it. Okay, so little rectangles for these legs, little skinny rectangles, and you can just kind of and we have six legs, so we've got to make sure we get all six of these. And notice it's just like little blocks. We're just adding blocks. Skinny rectangles here. And it looks like we have one more sticking out here and over here. All right. 
right, so there's our basic uh, shape. So now we can go in and we can take our, our blue and we can kind of add some lines to create value. Now, value and value scales, creating value scales is very important in drawing because that's what makes your drawings look three-dimensional. And I'm just using lines, and there's different ways to create value. You could use, you could do hatching, which are just straight lines. I'm kind of using some hatching lines here. I'm curving them to the shape of the, of the beetle. Okay. Um, if you want more practice with uh, creating value, uh, make sure you check my video. I'll link up above. Um, and that gives you lots of practice with making value skills with different types of material like crayon or ballpoint pen or marker or pencil and different types of, of value like sh using sh um, shading with pencil or, or even watercolor. Using watercolor um, can show you how to do that too. So check that out if you want a little more practice at this. Or if you don't, if you didn't get enough art this week and you'd like to get a little bit more practice, go definitely go check that out. So I'm just using some lines there. I'm not covering the whole thing, right? You can see I'm not filling out the whole part of this of these sections. I'm just kind of areas that are around the outside of, of each section. I'm adding a little bit of shadow. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a little bit of break and I'm going to add a little bit of white for the highlight. So I'm going to highlight some of this uh, before we, let me add a little bit more here, before we uh, put in our really dark values. So usually on something that is drawn, we want to consider where the light's coming from. I'm going to keep this simple. We're just going to pretend that the light's going straight down. So things in the middle are going to take my white color pencil and I'm just going to give a little highlight. See how that pops? See how nice that is? And you couldn't do this if you had a white piece of paper that you were drawing on. It wouldn't work because the white wouldn't show up. But th since you have something dark um, underneath, then the white shows up. So just in the middle sections, I'm going to add a little bit of white, and that's just going to give a little bit of reflection, like the light is showing, and it's going to make our, our beetle a little more three-dimensional looking. Now, if you didn't have cardboard or this chipboard or, or the um, cereal box, you could also take white paper and then uh, take some watercolor and, uh, and put down a, look, a little color of blue or or brown or green and then let it dry and then you can draw on top of that and that would give you the same effect and be able to do the white. Put a little bit on these legs. Um, or you could even use um, some color pencil first and do like a block of color real smooth across on your white paper and then do your ballpoint pen on top of that. All right, so now I'm going to go in, I'm going to take my black ballpoint pen, and now I'm going to come in around the edge, and I'm going to darken in some of my darker areas, like in this section, which looks like it's a little bit recessed there. It's in a little bit, so I'm going to darken that up a little bit. 
And then this section where it looks like the wings, he has his wings underneath these little shell casings. So it's going to darken up our area. I'm going to kind of outline these legs a little bit. seen any any beetles like this where I live or where we live um, you do know that in different parts of the country we have all different types of uh, animals that have are similar but are a little bit different that makes things really interesting especially if we get photographs of these different kinds of animals and we get a chance to draw them and sometimes, like these, uh, these are actually drawings or prints of another artist, and that's good too. We can kind of use those as examples. Now, what's nice about insects is, like this isn't exactly like this, and I wasn't really trying to be, like making the dimensions. I just wanted to get the general gist of the shapes. And so what's nice is that it's okay, because an insect's gonna look like an insect. So you can, this, that's what's kind of nice about drawing these, is that you ha you'll have a lot of success as long as you get the general shapes similar to what you're, uh, what you're looking at, so. Let's go ahead and draw another one. And this time we're gonna take some red. And actually, let's go ahead, let's try that ladybug again. We'll draw it a little bit more detailed than the last time we drew it. There's our circle. There is our, our head area. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take um, a color pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and color first to give myself a little bit of a block of color to work with, and then I'll do my drawing on top. Now, it's pretty important to use color pencil with this. Um, you, you might be able to use crayon, but I'm finding that the wax in the crayon it, uh, makes it really kind of difficult to draw on afterwards. So I'd recommend color pencil if you can. And then I'll show you some other techniques, uh, some other things you can use in, in, in just a minute if you don't have color pencils. Okay. Go ahead and do this blue. All right, so now we'll go ahead, we'll use our black, our black, uh, ballpoint pen and we'll start filling in some of the shadows. There are artists that specialize only in ballpoint pen art. They just use ballpoint pens to create their artwork. Kind of interesting. I think it's kind of fascinating to use something that's every day that you might find lying around and 
being able to create artwork out of it. It's kind of a neat concept. You don't need expensive art materials to create art. Now notice how I'm, I'm curving this. This is contour. We're, I'm contouring the lines. So since this beetle, you can, or not beetle, ladybug, you can, you can uh, think that the, the shell is curved, right? His back's curved. So these lines should be curved to give you the impression that it's a round, a round um, back of the bug. So I'm using the lines that are curved like this. Same with the head. I'm going to go ahead and use my white again. And I probably added a little bit too much red. That's why the white's not showing up as much. Uh, try to keep your color pencil light. Um, don't press down too hard. And then the, the white will uh, pop out a little bit more. So let's see if we can do some spots here. Some going off. Okay, I'm going to use my pen now to draw some lines to create these spots. on our legs here. Okay, there's one of those there. And now let's go ahead and uh, move on to our, let's, let's, create a, let's create a fly. This is gonna be bigger than actual life, right? Because flies are kind of small. All of these are kind of bigger than actual life, I think. Just shapes. We're just building shapes, right? I know these shapes have names, like, isn't there like the thorax? And you guys have studied insects, will probably know all the names of these, and you can tell me. I've forgotten. I've got these wings here. Get my six legs in there. Okay. Now, for fun, let's go ahead and, and put, I'm just, this is just a highlighter. Let's go ahead and draw some, just a little bit. You don't have to do the whole thing. But some of the areas here and just we'll add a little color. Now we can take our pin. Let's see if I can drop this down a little bit.
just using lines to create eyes have a flies have a lot of eyes I think <clears throat> their eyes are made up of little lenses and they can see all over the place that's why it's so hard to catch them but, um, because they can almost see behind themselves their backs behind their backs so they know when people are trying to sneak up on them and so they can get away okay I'm gonna take my uh, my white pencil now bit of white. A little highlight. And then you can draw right on top of it again to add your value. There's got some of these little bitty veins on the fly's wings. So there's our fly. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's let's have time for one more. Let's. What if we did a bee? Bee similar to a fly uh, in size, maybe a little bit bigger. His wings are going out though. So we'll draw that. those puffy legs because that's where all the pollen gets on the honeybees where the pollen gets collected and they've got those kind of like bands or stripes on the on his ab abdomen and uh, you can see here that um, they they also I'm having them contour having them go the shape of the body so it looks more three-dimensional our our insects here I hope you uh, had a good time I hope you can try some different ones too see if you can try some of these other insects and uh, have fun with it try to figure out what can be used try watercolor as a color underneath or try try uh, maybe some chalk if you have chalk lying around colored chalk um, there's a lot of different things you could do but Practice drawing on a colored background, whether it's some kind of board like this or pa white paper that you've painted, um, and then draw on top of it and see how it goes. 
Keep drawing every day and we will see you next time.